Okay, let's get into it. Y'all know me. I don't have time for them long intros. So y'all came to see the silk press. So here we go. My hair had been in a twist out and a puff for weeks. So I was like, okay, it's time to shampoo. It's time to get myself nice and silky. So I'm using my deep cleansing hair bath, which is my detox shampoo and my milk and honey oat shampoo. After I shampooed my hair in the shower, and now I'm gonna be using my deep cleansing hair bath. It is a two-in-one deep conditioner. It is hair heaven. It is the Beyonce of deep conditioners and I'm not even playing with y'all. It's thick and creamy and it smells amazing. So I'm gonna be putting just a small amount on half of my head and the other half will be on the other half. And I don't need to use a lot. So this one eight ounce jar will last me a good minute. Um, whenever you are deep conditioning your hair, you always want to do mid shaft to ends. The mid shaft to ends is the oldest part of your hair. There is no need to put any deep conditioner on your scalp because you're going to clog your pores, weigh your hairstyle down and cause, you know, other problems with your scalp. Your, the hair that's closest to your scalp is the newest part of your hair. So there's no need to be putting deep conditioner on that part. But as y'all can see, it melts into my hair, which is a plus, and it does not lay on top of my hair. I let this sit for about 20 to 25 minutes with a heated cap, or if you don't have that, you can also use a uh, blow dryer, like a sit under blow dryer. Do y'all see how popping my curls are after this deep conditioner, honey? Just, just look at the shine. Not the shine, but the shine. It looks good. And yes, I did comb it through as well. Uh, you could use a detangling brush or a wide tooth comb to, you know, make sure it's going all the way through. And I was a hairstylist for 17 years, so me combing my ends was not rough to me. It may seem rough to you, but it's not. I like to section my hair into fours when I'm blow drying my hair. I highly recommend this to you as well. Um, especially if you are someone that wants to really do a professional silk press at home. It just serves its purpose for me not to just do it completely wet on my own hair. Now, it still is a little damp um, right now, but, you know, I just like to stretch it out a little bit. I'm using my FHI blow dryer. Um, I will leave the link down below for that as well. Y'all see how damaged this blow dry is? I didn't drop this thing a million times. I've had it for about three years, I think. Maybe two to three. Um, my other one broke on me, but this is really, really good. And I'm using my um, ceramic paddle brush. Y'all know I love Olivia Garden. Olivia Garden, if y'all are listening, y'all, you know, go ahead and sponsor your girl because I've been shouting y'all out for years, for years. And yes, I always like to use a paddle brush. It gives it more tension. It's all about tension when you are blow drying your hair because you see how straight my roots are. This is how straight you want your hair to be before you flat iron your hair. I am not a person that likes to use the comb blow dryer. I don't want that plastic running through my hair. Only the best for my hair. Now. If you want to go ahead and use a comb blow dryer, more power to you, but it's just the professional in me. I just cannot use a comb blow dryer to, you know, blow out my hair. I prefer sleek, um, straight roots and the paddle brush does that for me. This whole entire process should be extremely easy if you're doing this on yourself or a loved one, a friend, your homegirl, your mama, whoever. Or if you're just a student that wants more practice, this is extremely easy to do at home. I know a lot of, you know, the women that watch my videos still go into the salon, which is great. But, you know, it may come a time where you need a last minute style and, you know, you're going to have to do it. Let me get my Beyonce on real quick because I feel the bad bitch starting to load up. Now I'm going in with my Nano Titanium Flat Irons. Um, I'll also leave the link down below. These are one inch and I have it on 400 or 450, I believe. Um, Y'all know I've used these same flat irons for years. 
they have dropped a million times and they still work amazingly i love them to me they're one of my favorite flat irons um so i didn't do any sectioning off this was right before my trip to chicago so this was like 10 o'clock at night and i was just trying to get it done you can section it off um if you would like to but i just went in and did parts I mean, it, it took me a little longer because of this reason too so don't be like me and i'm also using a uh carbon comb a heat protectant comb um so it's not going to be frying when i'm using it on my hair no heat protectants no leave-in conditioners i did not use any of that i shampooed my hair with my deep cleansing hair bath with my milk and honey oat shampoo and my repair tree has a built-in heat protectant so y'all see the shine y'all see the luster you saw prior to me flat ironing my hair that i still have my curl pattern all of my previous clients before i retired they still had their curl pattern they had their curl pattern because you know, it's all in the technique and especially the product that you're using. You don't need a million products to have healthy hair. You don't need a million products to get a silk press done. As you can see, the shine is there. The health is there. You need quality ingredients and amazing routine. If you really want this to be the best silk press of your life, I suggest that y'all turn on like a little movie, a little Lifetime movie, a little Netflix while you're flat ironing your hair. I was listening to music um, while I was doing this because, you know, this stuff takes time. I wouldn't say a long time, but if you want your shit to be laid, like you just got out of the salon, you got to take your time. You can't be rushing through this, okay? So I'm taking my time. I'm taking smaller parts to go in and straighten my hair because like I said, I was going out of town and I had to make sure my hair was going to be the talk if someone walked off to me because you never know. And no, it's not burning my scalp. I'm not burning my scalp. But this is, like I said before, it's important that you take your time. You make sure that your hair is as straight as possible with the, with the blow dryer and make sure that your roots are straight because, you know, it really makes everything come together. When you flat iron your hair, you start to see how flexible you really are. Like, I did not know my arms could do this. Really. I really want the beauty industry to stop overcomplicating healthy hair and stop overcomplicating looks like this. Like I understand, you know, everyone wants to go to the salon and have that experience, but it's nothing like being able to do this at home. Now, if you're someone that just likes the bone straight, this will be the final step for you here. I apply some of my serum, just about a drop or two to seal my ends and to give it more luster and shine and just overall smell really great. And I'll also leave the link down below to all of my products. Um, and this will really be the last step if you are a bone straight type of girl. I always like to um, put my blow dryer on cool and just go back in and make sure that my hair is nice and laid. But if you are a girl that likes a little body, I'm gonna show y'all another trick that I like to do. I'm using my one and a half inch Bebelis flat irons. They are ceramic, they are on, I think like 350 maybe. And no, my hair is not gonna have any heat damage because I know y'all gonna be down in the comments saying that. I've done this for years, technique after technique no heat damage i'm using these velcro uh rollers that i got from the hair store oh no 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 no! i'm lying i got it from amazon and i'll leave that link down below as well they came in different sizes so i really like that especially if you know i want to have more body than curl and this is something that you can sleep in if you decide to um i would not recommend it but if you decide to then you can but i just left it in for like a few hours so that i could show y'all 
how it's going to look and um you know just left it in it gave it a body and because i already had layers it really just set it off i mean do y'all see the drop do y'all see like the luster and shine it is giving i just love body i love volume I don't know if it's because, you know, when I started doing hair, it was like early 2000s. So I just really, really like that look. I like the voluminous. I like sexy hair. And I really think se sexy hair is starting to come back and not just bone straight. So if you are the girl that loves this type of look, I think that doing the roller set after the flat iron would really be beneficial for you. Let me know below if this is something that y'all think that y'all could do at home. And don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, all of that good stuff. And I'll leave every single link down below to purchase everything that I use in this video. Okay, it's time for y'all to slay and get the best silk press you ever had at home. Period.